ഒക്ടോബർ തേർട്ടി ഫസ്റ്റ് ട്യൂസ്ഡേ ലൂക്ക് തേർട്ടീൻ എയ്റ്റീൻ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഓക്സ് ഫ്രം ലിറ്റിൽ അക്കൗണ്ട്സ് ഗ്രോ ഈസ് എ ഫോർട്ടീൻത്ത് സെഞ്ച്വറി പ്രോവർബ് it means great things may come from small beginnings from the lowly acorn grows the mighty oak tree great things often spring from small beginnings from small beginnings forest fires are ignited and great movements are born from humble beginnings great leaders and prophets have arisen to make their mark on their day small beginnings are an important part of life growth and development in today's gospel jesus describes the kingdom of god by using different images let us remind ourselves briefly what we mean by the kingdom of god the greek word is basileia which is more accurately translated kingship or reign so it is a network of relationships rather than a place that we are talking about the basileia of god occurs wherever people are submitting themselves to that loving power of god in their lives and in their mutual relationships working together to bring god's love and justice to the world jesus is the symbol the very embodiment of the kingdom as through him god's loving power breaks into people's lives and in so far as they accept him and his message the kingdom is being realized jesus compares the kingdom of god with a mustard seed and yeast he planted the seed of the kingdom among a few disciples in israel some 2000 years ago today that seed has grown and his disciples are now found in every corner of the world from a humble beginning the church is now a major force and it will continue to grow in the future until everything is made subject to him and god is all in all when these words were written the church was still tiny but it had already begun to grow considerably from its beginnings with a handful of jesus disciples there is an air of hope and confidence that it will continue to grow in spite of the persecutions and setbacks it is facing and will continue to face in our own time we need to keep fresh the hope and confidence of this parable in so far as we are dedicated to truth and love
we have nothing to fear ultimately they will and must prevail wishing you a good day father paul csr from kerala